Due to COVID-19, the housing market is currently experiencing record low inventories. A balanced market maintains six months of inventory. Many markets are now at or below one month's inventory. Some sellers don't want to list during a pandemic. Others are worried they won't be able to secure a replacement property once their home sells. The low inventory plus low interest rates leads to multiple offers and escalating sales prices. And when a home is listed on the market, an eager pool of buyers jumps on it, often making at or above full price offers. As a buyer, this makes securing that perfect house for your client quite difficult. But it's not time to get frustrated, it's time to get creative. Here is a list of creative buyer offer strategies to discuss with your clients to help them secure a home in this low inventory market. Check with the listing agent. Find out what's important to the seller. Is it price? A quick close? Make that part of your offer. Strong financing usually trumps a higher bid with weaker financing. The three sale fail contingency items are appraisal, inspection, and financing. The more of these that the buyer can remove for the seller, the better. Outbid by shopping low. Shop below your client's price range, enabling them to offer above asking. How much below and how much above asking price depends on what the market is doing. Offer to waive the appraisal gap. One fear sellers have when prices ratchet up is will the property appraise? By offering to waive a portion or all of the appraisal gap, you take that fear away. Waive the inspection contingency, but reserve the right to inspect. Use the seller disclosure period to perform the inspection and if needed, negotiate repairs or terminate the deal based on what's found. Shorten the inspection period or offer to cap repair requests. Leaving out insignificant repairs and focusing on bigger projects expedites the sale, giving the seller more confidence. For example, buyer to request no repairs less than $2,000. Offer an extended seller grace period, allowing the seller to remain in the home post closing for 30 to 60 days will give the seller more time to locate and secure their replacement property. Note that this is not a seller rent back. It's a grace period. So no rent will be owed. Offer to buy the house as is. This doesn't mean an inspection won't be conducted, and if something were to come up, the buyer could terminate or try to negotiate a repair. While you want to try everything to help your client, there are some strategies you should avoid. In particular, buyer love letters. Buyer love letters are cover letters accompanying offers that attempt to appeal to the seller's emotional side and are problematic for two reasons. They give away the buyer's negotiating power. This isn't a big deal during a low inventory market because the buyer essentially has no negotiating power, but a letter that gives too much away can harm the buyer when it comes to negotiating repairs. They can be used to support claims of discrimination. I'm just like you is often the theme of these letters, perhaps citing familial status or religious affiliation. A buyer who loses out may believe it's because of the buyer's protected class status. The position held by the National Association of Realtors on buyer love letters is the best practice is not to provide them, and if received by a listing agent, not to share them with the seller. The low inventory market has created a battleground for buyers, and closing on the right house has become a difficult task. But don't get discouraged. Stay educated, get creative, and you will be able to land your client's dream home.